What's up gamers? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing defensive controls in Madden 25. How we like to set up our defensive hot routes. How we can uh, get faster pressure, get better coverage, and do everything faster and master our adjustments in Madden 25. So what we like to do here first and foremost is I want to show you audibly. And you audible the same way you audible on offense. It's just hitting square. And then using the D-pad on the left side of your controller to scroll through your plays. And then you could either just go down and manually scroll through and select them, or you can uh, hit the button that they are. So like here, I can just hit triangle, and it's going to switch me over to invert to fire. If you ever want to reset your play back to the play you came out in, you can hit square L2. If you're on Xbox, of course, just it's the same thing, but it's just a different a different button, but it's in the same positioning. And I think on Xbox, it's the X button. But uh, you can hit square L2 if you want to flip your play. You can hit square R2. You see that it'll flip the play here. Um, if you want to, if you want to uh, uh, shift your defensive line, so I first want to go over to line adjustments. So we're going to shift our defensive line. We're going to hit L1. This is going to access all of these different defensive line adjustments we can do. We can spread our defensive line, as you see here, by hitting. L1 and up on the D-pad. You can shift them to the left by hitting L1 and left on the D-pad. Shift them to the right by hitting L1 right on the D-pad. And you can pinch them by hitting L1 and down on the directional pad. So you see we could do all those things with our line. Then the next thing you can do is crash them a specific way. So you can crash them to the right. As you see here, their blood angles will change uh, by hitting, flicking the right analog stick to the right. You can flick the right analog stick to the left and it will crash them left. You can flick the right analog stick down and it will crash them down or crash them to the middle. And then you can uh, flick the right analog stick up. It says edge rush. It's going to push them their rushes outside. And I like to say crash out, but uh, it's actually called edge rush. So that's how we can get involved with our defensive line. Uh, with our linebackers, we can do everything pretty much the same as the defensive line in terms of shifting. So we can spread our linebackers by hitting R1 and up on the D-pad. We can shift them to the left by hitting R1 and left on the D-pad. Shift them to the right by hitting R1 and right on the D-pad. And we can pinch our linebackers by hitting R1 and down on the D-pad. As you see here, they're going to pinch. Another thing that we can do with our linebackers, which I really like to do, is we can get involved with their blitzing by at, without having to click on. Just like the defensive line, we can uh, blitz guys, but we're going to blitz individual linebackers. So you see here in a 3-3-5, we can go through and we can, uh, if we had all of our linebackers in zones like this, uh, and I wanted to put them. I wanted to put my outside linebackers on blitzes, both of them. I can blitz my right outside linebacker by flicking right on the analog stick here, R1 and right on the analog stick. I can blitz my left outside linebacker by hitting R1 left on the analog stick. And then I can blitz all of my linebackers if I hit R1 and down on the right analog stick. You see it all blitzes. They all blitz. And then another thing that I can do is if I want to turn a heavy pressure blitz into maybe a max coverage blitz, is I can hit R1 and zone all of my linebackers and you see they're all going to go into hook zones and we can use the trick that I've talked about before about man align and then base align and you see that that does a really nice job of setting that up so and then for the next thing the last part I want to talk about here today is uh, We'll talk about individual hot routes real quick, and then we'll talk about the corners because the corners is probably the most important. Uh, so individual hot routes, you access an individual hot route by hitting X on PlayStation and A on Xbox 360. And you see you can do a lot of things here. You could put him in a deep zone by hitting up on the directional pad, put him in a flat zone by hitting left on the, right on the left directional pad, put him in a curl flat zone by hitting right on the directional pad. You could put him in a... Uh, a hook zone by hitting down on the directional pad and then you can hit him into a quarterback contain by flicking the right analog stick to the right you can put him in a man assignment by flicking the right analog stick up and choosing the player you want him to be manned up against you can uh, put him in a quarterback spy by hitting flicking the right analog stick to the left 
and you can blitz it straight down by flicking the right analog stick down. And that's all the individual hot routes you can do with your guy to change up what he's doing on the play. Uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about today is the is the uh, secondary. So one thing we like to do with our, is get involved with our secondary. So first things first, you access all secondary hot routes by hitting the triangle button. And the first thing I want to do is you can press coverage by hitting triangle and down on the left directional pad. You can back off the coverage by hitting triangle and up on the directional pad. You can show blitz by hitting triangle and left on the directional pad. You see it's going to change the front. It's going to bring a, a bare look. And then lastly, you can base a line, which I talk about a lot, which is going to make your formation look the same every single time uh, as if it were on the screen. We use this a lot for blitzes. So that's how we can base a line our defense. And then uh, next, we can also man a line, which is basically the opposite of base a line. And it's going to line your guys up right over the person. So one popular tactic is to man a line and and blitz uh, so that they can get that press on the outside. And then you can send some pressure. And uh, you see here, we just try to get everything muddied up and get some pressure at the quarterback. Um, but after you man a line, there's a couple of other things you can do. Uh, you can uh, shade your zone. So, for example, if I'm in like a cover, uh, cover three here. I'm going to shade my zones, but it only, only messes with these, these zones, the deep blues. As far as you can see on the screen, uh, some people say it messes with every zone, but we can't tell for sure. So here's how it does, but you can shade it to the right. So triangle right on the right analog stick is going to shade coverage to the right, and you see that this blue zone to Hayden is much more exaggerated to the right side of the screen. We can shade them to the left, and as you see, this blue zone will change and go more to the left. We could shade them down or middle, which is going to make them play the streaks a little bit better, the deep posts a little bit better. Or we could shade them out or up on the right directional pad. It's going to make it a little bit harder for them to get the deep fades. So that's how we like to use those coverage adjustments. And then the last thing I want to talk about today is the individual coverage adjustments. So when you man align, or actually right before that, um, another thing you do here is you could press coverage. But then if you want to change it up on your opponent, you can hit triangle, triangle. And what's going to happen is they're going to show press, but they're not going to press. It's called disguise cushion. It's a popular tactic to change up your opponent. And uh, another thing that disguise cushion does really well is if you're in like a cover two and you hit disguise cushion, watch what happens. You see that these yellow zones drop very much more back instead of underneath, which is another little quick tip is that disguise cushion works in man and zone as well. Uh, but the last tip I want to talk about now is individual coverages. So say, for example, you have Harbin and you want to take away this post route. You can hit triangle X and then you could hit Percy Harvin, and then you could shade him different ways. So I, if I wanted to shade him inside, I could hit uh, the triangle X circle and then to the left on the right analog stick. If I want to shade him out, I could hit triangle X, Percy Harvin's button. Then I can flick him to the right and shade him to the right. Flick the right analog stick to the right. If I wanted to press him uh, a little harder, I could press him by flicking right analog stick down. This is how you can get press of the slot against two men under. So here if I want to press Baldwin, I'm going to hit triangle X, Baldwin's name, and then flick right down analog stick down. You see my guy is going to go up to try to press him at the line of scrimmage. And then another thing you can do is say you want to play off of Percy Harvin because he's a speedster. Well, you can hit access the individual coverage and then back off the coverage by hitting uh, the right stick up. And you see that now he's not going to be able to beat me deep. Um, all those nuances you can do there. And then lastly, what you could do is you could actually spotlight receiver. So if I wanted to, to spotlight Percy Har Harvin and press him because I want to take away the out route that they've been throwing all game long. I'm going to spotlight him, shade the receiver to the outside, and uh, potentially press him. And you see that now Charles Tillman is going to do a little bit better of a job at stopping the, um, at stopping the out route. So let's take a look here at this one more time. And you see this should get a better animation at stopping that out route. You see he sits on it. 
and it's very difficult to fit in. So that is how you can get involved with your defense, uh, guys. There's a lot more that uh, there's a lot more depth I could have gone into about it. I tried to be as quick as possible so that you guys wouldn't have to waste your time. Uh, uh, well, it wouldn't be wasting your time, but you wouldn't have to spend so much time going over this. But if you guys are unclear on anything I said or have a question, please let me know so that I can answer it because this is a very important aspect of the game. You have to learn the controller inside and out so that you can make the fastest adjustments in the game. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. And I just want to quickly remind you to subscribe to my Twitch.tv channel. My link will be in the description because we're having a live stream this Saturday at 10 o'clock Eastern time for I'm going to play some subscribers and it's going to be a good time so make sure you show up so you can be involved in that thanks guys